now that I have my new leather flare side open, I've got the opportunity to do a lot of different things. Now, most of you are familiar with my leather work to an extent, and normally I would take a leather piece that I finished and I'd put it in a frame, such as this one. This is Lady Tinkerbell. Isn't she a sweetheart? And here's a sweet little guy. I call him always faithful. I mean, he's always waiting for you. However, my new category is going to be unframed leather paintings. And this is one. This is a snow owl. Quite beautiful, actually, if I say so myself. Very unique. 100% leather. And I'm just giving you some ideas here of what's been done. And this, of course, is Tatanka. This is on a large piece of leather. I've got to really raise up and get back. I will withdraw the lens so that you can get an idea of this guy. And what you're going to be able to do is take a piece of leather like this, and then you can put it in a frame of your own design, like something custom, maybe a, a section of native wood burn around the edges, and this attached to the wood frame. It really gives you an opportunity to do something with the artwork yourself. And B-17 Liberty. So I have all types of different leather pieces that I'm going to be presenting. This is a lovely little mystical character. All 100% leather. Trail of Tears, Cherokee. The Cherokee Rose. There's a story behind this. But I won't take the time to tell you about it now. You can look it up in your history books. The Trail of Tears. This is the Cherokee Rose. The March Through the Snow. Headed from the south to Indian Territory. Here's one line that I really like. This is a rainbow trout. On leather, of course. So these can be cut and framed or attached in any way that you want to do it. As a sportsman you might want to do something unique with this that someone that preferred something of the gothic nature perhaps. Uh, this is really a nice nice leather painting here. Rainbow Trout. And we all know Mr. J. Michael J. Leather. And our sweet sweet lady Betty Boop. In all leather. This is my interpretation of Dancing with the Stars. You've got a dancing studio. You need this one for sure if you just love dancing. You need it. Leather, like I say, there's plenty of room out here where you can cut and trim. Do it the way you want to. There's a, a ruler that gives you an idea. Some of these pieces. They all have plenty of leather on the sides. And this is Wiley Coyote and that mischievous Roadrunner. Will he ever catch him? I don't think so. Those of you who like the fantasy of unicorns, leather. And here's the spider guy. Actually, he's an adult male, so they call him Spider Man. Look at those eyes. Guy doesn't fool around. Leather. Automobile enthusiasts. Leather Super B. You guys know what, what that goes on. Leather. Super B. Corvette. This is one of several of the older cars that I have painted. And the Sweet Betty Boop again. So again, the point is, you can take the leather and do whatever you wish with it. Attach it to clothing, put it in a frame. Black bass. I love to fish for bass. This is on leather, of course. Came out really nice, nice and shiny. So you have some ideas there. I'll have a new category and you'll uh, find it on my site so you can check some of this new category out and decide what you want to do with some of the artwork yourself. A chance to be creative without standing professional art. 
Okay, that's it, folks. Thank you for watching. Oh, here's one other. This was a Native American design that I did. And this could go on clothing or various ways to use it. Leather. And it all starts out like this. You just take a piece of leather, clean it up, repair it, get it ready to go. Start doing your, your original designs, whatever you want to do. And then you pin this thing down and go to work and create something. And you can have a lot of fun doing it. Okay. Thank you. That's it for now, folks.